watching Jez set the pace. And Jez is quite willing, especially with face cards. 12,000. That was a raisable hand, King Jack. Obviously, Eight. starting hands, they don't have to be anything, really. What's the point of having a starting hand, Jesse? No point at all, really, is there? <laughs> Well, as you said before, the best hand before the flop, usually the best hand after the flop. Let's see if that holds true here. Houston trying to hit a piece of something. And he has. Well, it cost him a bit of money to see it very quickly into the red chips. 20,000 20, there. He was wasting no time. I did that in a very authoritative manner. A sweep around the yellow minions to get to his big red powerful ones and it's goodbye Jez Bailey here unless he wants to commit Harry Carey he's got two over cards his six cards working for him should he decide to take a risk but 20,000 is a lot I know he's got 193,000 how committed do you think John Houston is to this at this hand well, he won't like that call at all. That changes the equation somewhat. Although, from Jez Bailey's body language, he doesn't particularly like calling, so everything to play for here is going to be who's got the strongest will. That's a great card for John Houston. It's an undercard to his pair. And uh, he's just trying to pump this pot up. That's the problem with calling. Now where'd you go? It's cost you 20,000. You want to put another 50,000 on a draw? Lots of money. Yeah, Jazz down to six cards here. He's uh, can't even really beat a bluff, can he? He must put Houston on something better than what he's got anyway. <coughs> Twenty thousand wasted on drawing to a jack or a king, and that has. Uh, Padded John Houston's climb back into the thick of things even more. Second now. So Jez Bailey coming back down to earth a bit. And John Houston from the cellar to second dweller. Look at that bet frequency of Jez Bailey. 54% of the time he's <laughs> putting money in before the flop. I tell you what, it's nearly terrifying, isn't it? I mean, we are six-handed here. <laughs> It's been a good table. It's been a, a lively table. The chat's been good. Play's been relaxed. You have to feel like whoever comes through this heat is going to have earned their oh. way. I mean, Pass. there's nothing being given away here. And here we go. Fiona, perhaps thinking she's got to Race make a move to make and stamp some Pass. authority on the table. She hasn't been Pass. involved that Six much. Call. And this could well this could well work, although call. Wow. Mr. Broadhurst has decided that the ten two, the Doyle Brunson hand, call. is good enough to call with. And they're calling her. Well Doyle Brunson won two world championships with that hand, but <laughs> Dave Broders is gonna have to He's in bits really that that's <laughs> well obviously a ten or a two would help. <laughs> Bailey with the King Nine has Fiona Foster dominated in the King department, and that's not what oh Fiona my. Foster wants to see. What a beautiful flop for Jez Bailey. Monster. Flush draw, straight flush draw, top pair, better kicker. <coughs> oh dear. Well, there's every chance we could be losing Fiona Foster this hand, Steve. Yeah, well, she's smiling. There's a smile going 20, on. 20,000. Well, from past experience, she goes all in. Who <laughs> <laughs> went away? <laughs> no cards. She's got the hands on both lots of chips. She's about to go all in, I feel. She's got nearly no way to win. A couple ways to tie, but uh, if those chips go forward... Can she get away from this? Can she, can she work out her kicker's rubbish? How could she know? By the size of the bet, by the guy coming out betting. He's been betting all day long. Yeah, right you are. Well in. 
Raise She's the moved range. all in, and Jez Bailey's not throwing it away. Broadhurst might be put off his pair of tens, mm. but uh, done that to me. I'm out fills. Pass. Broadhurst hey, passes pass very quickly. This is terrible trouble for Fiona Foster. Well, he's really got to call. Fifty-seven thousand more. Call. Cool. Cool. He's not folding a straight flush 000. draw. And cards, please. And uh, this <laughs> is <laughs> danger. <laughs> now there are a couple of split pot opportunities up there, Steve. If a ten comes or a jack comes, obviously a six would be very nice for Fiona as well. As long as it's not the six of clubs, but Fiona Foster all in here and trailing. At this stage, the nine kicker plays. Ooh. It's a six! It's an off-suit no, six! You can't Ooh. get your breath. Oh, she's embarrassed. <laughs> she's going to do the interview with him afterwards. He doesn't look happy. Well, Jess Bailey has a bunch of redraws. Any nine, any queen, any oh, club. Man. There's the club! Well, it all changes. The flush holds up, but Thank I suppose a bit much. of justice well there. Thanks a lot. Nice for you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Draw, oh, redraw, yeah. outdraw, and Fiona Thanks Foster out first. No way. <laughs> this game, Steve, just a bit too fast for her, perhaps. Oh, thanks, <laughs> the, the last hand, once again, the money all in on the flop, and Jez Bailey, the straight flush draw. The turn actually gave Fiona the best hand, but the club on the river, the club flush, taking us five-handed. Fiona, a different pace to this game from last week. Well, it's just a different league. I mean, they're completely, obviously, <laughs> out of my league. And, um, you know, the truth will out. And well, it just seemed like the most aggressive table maybe we've ever seen on uh, on TV poker. Yeah, well, they, they, they certainly, I mean, there's no messing about, is there? It's just a completely different atmosphere from last week's game. And it's so intense and serious. And you know... They know what you've got, you know, uh, before you do almost. And uh, it's kind of quite scary and, and very intimidating, but it was fine. Yeah. Don't be so modest. You got away with a couple of good bluffs yourself there. And that last hand, when the six came, did you think you were out of it? I thought, well, I thought, uh, well, I was absolutely shocked when that came over because I thought once we turned the cards over, I thought that that was it. So I thought for a minute I was going to live to fight another day, but no, it's only right and fair. It would have been a very bad pee if I had ended up going getting that money. When the merry-go-round spins this fast, someone has to fall off, and Fiona Foster in with the top pair, but out flushed, and we are down to five. No one to play with? There's always PartyPoker.com. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.com European Open. I'm Jesse May, joined by Steve Davis. And uh, Ian Woodley having a smile. He says, uh, these are four of the craziest guys I've ever sat down with. Pass. All right. Well, yeah, of course. Cool. Raise, 15,000 more, All the rules are out of the window in this one. <laughs> it's tough on everybody. <laughs> you almost wonder what they're pumping in the air there. Pass. Yeah, a lot of... <clears throat> 15 to call. That's just marvellous. I mean, from, uh, from John Hewson's point of view, he may think Jess Bailey is getting the hump if a re-raise comes here. Yeah, but he hasn't got a strong enough hand with King Six, has he? Or has he? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, that's Re raise. Raised. Thirty thousand more. Fifty one total. If John Houston well, he almost looked like he was gonna push him in. He better have a think here. Well he didn't read him right last time. <laughs> Just check. And see the flop. Just check. It's amazing, Steve. This is this is really the first time that John Houston has gotten way out of line before the flop. Uh, well, surely, knowing full well that it was a risky raise, he shouldn't put any more money in. How can he? With, he can't, surely. I think he's going to give it a bit of the dwell up. He, 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 
He, he really doesn't believe Jazz has anything.